What NSFW fact did you learn at an embarrassingly late age? I was raised Catholic. I used to think the sex of the wedding night was so ingrained in the sacrament of marriage that the copulation occurred in some room in the church. I may have even thought the altar at some point. But I think I realized that at least was silly at an early age. For whatever reason, I grew up thinking that men were supposed to have three testicles. I was a 13-year-old boy before learning the truth. I thought I was deformed. Or maybe my third ball just hadn't developed yet somehow. I'm not really sure what I was thinking. I just remember the absolute embarrassment I felt when one of my friends found out about this misunderstanding. My buddy thought the penis went into the clitoris at the age of 19. What a wet dream is. I remember in school being taught, but not knowing what it was. I even remember answering the question on a sex ed TED wet dreams are also referred to as nocturnal emissions. Blah blah blah, but I had no idea what they were talking about. I always thought a wet dream meant you peed yourself. Oh you mean sheet sneezes. My brother went the first 22 years of his life thinking that every woman in the entire world got their period during the last week of the month. Like some kind of demonic clockwork. I'm an RN and I told a patient I needed her to put a tampon in before we collected her urine sample because she had vaginal bleeding. She looked at me like I was an absolute idiot and said you can't do that. If you put the tampon in how can the pee get out? Mind you this was a 25-year-old woman who also had two daughters. It took about 10 minutes of explaining for her to understand that you don't pee out of your vagina. I still don't think she believed me. I thought being a bottom was when the guy was on the bottom of the girl. Only realized when someone jokingly asked if I was a power bottom. And I said oh yeah, they never let that one go. I guess it wasn't a necessarily late age but I was telling a whole group of horrified friends in high school about how I was eating out my cousin for doing something only to later be told the difference between eating out and chewing out. I learned in elementary school that babies were made by a male sperm coming out of the testicles, making its way to a female's egg and fertilizing it. What they failed to mention was how the sperm got there. I thought that the sperm fizzed and foamed through the skin of the balsack, and you rubbed the fizzed foam concoction up against the vagina while the sperm figured out the rest. I didn't realize the truth until the end of sixth grade when I witnessed my first porn flick with my best friends. It wasn't until earlier this year that I admitted this was my understanding to my girlfriend. My school tried to keep sex ed as PG as possible, never mentioning or showing diagrams of penetrative sexual intercourse. They just used the term sex and intercourse without any sort of context to paint an accurate picture for us. My girlfriend thinks it's absolutely hilarious. I thought it was fairly embarrassing. Knowledge is power. You can suck and lick anything as long as you wash it off first. I used to be grossed out by oral sex because you either literally piss with those organs or come close to it. In elementary school, a friend and I were talking about what we knew about sex. Trying to guess what the bases were. We both agreed put things in your mouth was the last base. Because it's so gross. So, you're not alone. In middle school I wasn't uninterested in the opposite sex surprise I'm gay or anything sexual. My friend told me women could have multiple orgasms at once and my only reaction was that sucks not knowing what an orgasm was. Met a girl in college who didn't know guys balls know with temperature. They're like our own personal lava lamp. The difference between vulva, labia and clitoris. Not me but an old roommate of mine. He comes in and asks me if my husband and I were gonna have sex that night. I told him probably not because my husband got home late. He then asks me if his girlfriend can have one of my birth control pills because they didn't have any condoms. I told him no because I have to take it. He asks me why because I said my husband and I weren't gonna do anything. I told him you have to take it at the same time every day for it to work. He looked at me like an idiot and that was the day I had to explain birth control to my 23-year-old roommate. Not me, but I had a friend who basically explained that he didn't know that if you had a vagina you still had a urethra. I think he was in high school before he learned otherwise. He just thought that the labia essentially acted as floodgates and when you needed to pee they would open like a trapdoor and your urine would just fall out. I still laugh about this.
I didn't learn what a clitoris was until I read the color purple three years after my supposed health class in high school, and that I even have a clitoris. That there's movement involved in PIV sex rather than just insertion and laying there. Haha <laughs> back in middle school I used to think sex meant touching the penis to the vagina, the thought of insertion or in-out motion hadn't even occurred to me. I'm late to the party with this but this is an embarrassing case of bad women's anatomy, made worse by the fact that I am woman. A couple of weeks ago I learned that when pregnant women are told in labor things like you are 7 cm dilated I thought that they were literally talking about the vagina rather than the cervix. In my mind the vagina literally just became a huge 10 cm open black hole into the body. I only learned a few weeks ago that it is the cervix they are talking about. Did I also mention that I am nearly 8.5 months pregnant? I was like 22 now 26 when my boyfriend said something about finding my pee hole. I thought I had been peeing out of my vagina. I used to think that every time I had to pee on my period I had to remove my tampon. That being circumcised didn't mean the head of your dick gets chopped off. I was too old when I found that out. Ladies have three holes in their bottom half. There's more than one size of condom. A proud micro tiny user myself. How many tampons a lady goes through during her period? I was am 26 when I found out. So, how many? I mean I already know but some people out there have no idea. Thanks to some subpar sex ed. My first boyfriend thought HIV spontaneously generates when two guys have sex. We went to get tested for HIV after we f***ed for the first time, even though we were both virgins before. When I was a sophomore in high school I was awkward and regularly picked on. I thought I was super cool wearing LA Looks hair gel to style my hair with the duck butt. The stuff often dried and peeled and left white chunks in the hair if you touched it too much. So at the lunch table this girl goes it looks like you have jizz in your hair and I didn't know what that word was so I just said yeah I do and then nobody talked to me the rest of the day. My male housemate in college who was 21 at the time and not a virgin, totally didn't believe me when conversation led to my telling him that girls don't pee out of the same hole the penis goes in. He had to go down to his room and Google it. And then we never spoke of it again. That girls can masturbate too. I learned this at almost 14. I'm female. I had to break it to my 27-year-old friend that she doesn't pee from her clit. Eating a girl out doesn't mean taking her for dinner. When I was in high school, my parents, my best friend and I were going somewhere, parents in the front seat, me and my buddy in the back. While we were driving, my folks were listening to some oldies on the radio. There was an interview with the lead singer of Question Mark and the Mysterians. In the interview, he said the song 96 Tears was originally called 69 Tears but they changed the name because they knew the song wouldn't get any airplay with the original title. Me. I don't understand why it wouldn't get played on the radio. 96. 69. They're just numbers. Awkward pause. My best friend leaned into the front seat and said Mr. and Mrs. Groovy Brent. I've got this one. Later that day he explained what I had just asked my parents. A girl I know at school high school thought that penises had bones in them. Human ones don't. Women wipe themselves with TP after going pee. Was in my mid-twenties when I found that out. I hope you're a guy. I hope I am too. I very recently discovered that the clitoris is outside of the vagina. My first girlfriend never learned where it was so I didn't think anything of it. My current girlfriend when we started having sex she said don't forget the clit and I went. What? The clitoris is outside the vagina, but the majority of it is actually internal. The outside part the glands is just the easiest to access. Apparently, Netflix and chill has a slang meaning I didn't know it had. While getting my hair cut the other day, by a 20-something hairstylist, the conversation turned to what we were doing that weekend. Not having a lot going on that evening I told her I wasn't doing much. She said the same. She said she was just going to sit at home that evening and relax. So I said oh, Netflix and chill. The look on her face told me, immediately, I had put my foot in my mouth.
I simply smiled at her innocently. After a few awkward moments she said, you don't know what that means, do you? I confess that I didn't. Like trying to explain something to her clueless grandfather she made me aware of the subtext meaning. So, that was an uncomfortable haircut. My girlfriend in high school once rubbed my dick over my pants in my truck before a movie. When we talked about how how that was later in the evening, she said that was my first hand job. She honestly thought that was a hand job. I had a general idea about sex from a very young age but didn't officially understand the mechanics of intercourse until I was a young teen after I asked embarrassingly loud in class what a boner was. Not me but I had a rather frustrating conversation with someone in high school on the bus about foreskins. He couldn't fathom how someone could be uncircumcised because, and I quote, how could you even pee then? The dude literally thought the foreskin covered the entire penis at birth and you had to be circumcised so you could pee.